Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this next young man was here a couple weeks ago, and uh, we brought him uh, uh, back, which was like his first time ever doing stand-up. And he's like, hey, when can I come back? And I go, I actually have an opening in a couple weeks. We'll get you back because Lord knows you don't want to wait too long uh, to perform after your first set because you want to revisit that and get your hands dirty and live your dream a little deeper. And usually your first set is so awesome, and then your second set is horrible, and you cry, <laughs> and then you see the execution, you're like, I should have quit after one. So I hope that doesn't happen tonight because usually at the festivals, that's what happens. I just want to warn you guys. Get your fucking sickle ready. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Frank, how you feeling, baby? Wonderful. All right, listen. Seriously, this cat was super funny. It was his first set a couple weeks ago. I'm busting his balls. But he's the headliner of tonight's <laughs> festival. So he'll be bringing it to the world. second set ever. Don't be nervous about the executioner. Ladies and gentlemen, your headliner, Mr. Frank Cronin. Thank you so much. Yeah! Bridges, how are you? Give it up for everyone that performed tonight. Everyone is amazing. Yes, I put my laptop here because I'm retarded and I can't remember anything. All right. How you guys doing tonight? Woo! All right, I got a solid two minutes for you guys. All right. Oh, so little to say, so much time. I mean, um, all right, I'm going to do a little singing for you. My mind is telling me no. But my body. My body is telling me, yeah. Oh, is that too soon? Uh, I wonder I wonder what the first day like for R. Kelly in prison was. Uh, you, know, the, uh, you know, just that chocolate factory is open. Can I, uh, when I say toot toot, give me a beep beep. He is hot and fresh out the kitchen. Let me tell you. It's just, I couldn't pass up these easy jokes. Uh, 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 you know, I'm, 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 I'm nothing up here. I don't know. I, uh, I looked in the mirror while I was taking a piss before I came up here, and I look like a telly worker. Or a, or a, or a pizza guy. I don't know. Thank you so much. You are so sweet. I know, I'm Italian, I'm a guinea. I, I look great. I know. I should have a pen right here. And I'll take your fucking order. Uh, we got a lot of stars in the building tonight. Maleficent is here. Uh, so I don't know if you can see the, uh, the black horns she's got, but she's watched me from the trees. It's really nice. Um, uh, Mother Nature must have got a date tonight. It is beautiful outside. It was supposed to rain, but it probably didn't get her wet. Uh, uh, I, uh, I saved $184 today by not going to Target for deodorant. <laughs> it's, a, it's a struggle for me. It, it, it's, it's my nightmare. Um, I, you know, doing this comedian, this stand-up, I, uh, I meet a lot of people. I get a lot of responses after shows. There's other two types of people. You know, one type's like, you are so brave. I don't know how you could do it. I could never do it. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, <laughs> and then I get the other people who are like, oh, I could totally do what you do. And I'm like, <laughs> no, you can't. Um, it's, it's wonderful. I'm drunk, so I can't uh, remember anything. Um, there we go. Laptop, baby. I know, yeah, tell me about it. Love Technology. It. Do it, baby. I have a question. Uh, should tricks stop is discrimination and just let it for everyone? Um, that's a cereal, General Mills. Yeah. <laughs> tricks are for kids, but, you know, there's a lot of things with cancel culture now, and, uh, you know, I thought it would have been resolved, but, I mean, we're canceling everything. Cancel, 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 cancel. Like, now, what are we going to cancel? What happens when it's all canceled? Like, I'm at the office the other day. Make doesn't like apples. Canceled. You didn't fucking laugh at my joke. Canceled. <laughs> I think we should aim a little bit fucking higher, like the IRS. <laughs> canceled. No more debt. Fuck the roads. Jesus Christ. So... A few years ago, I was uh, diagnosed with a lot of disorders. <laughs> no! 
I know, yeah, thank you. I, I know, it makes a lot of sense, right, Sean? Uh, I, by the way, I tried fucking the glory hole and my dick snapped around. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> I tried to love you! I tried. I mean, yeah. But I was, I was diagnosed with ADD. Uh, see, I can't even remember the other ones because they're fucking ADD. Uh, anxiety, depression. I got all the bad ones. Why couldn't I get like an eating disorder or something like that? I'm one egg roll away from my button popping. <laughs> Fuck, man. You know, like, I, I struggle with weight, and it's okay. Fuck it. I still pull bitches. But, um... Woo! Woo! Uh, but, um... You know, it's, um... You know, everyone's like, oh, we got a meal prep every Sunday for the week. Get it right. You know, with your chicken and brown rice. I'm like, I, I meal prep, too. A Red Bull and an Adderall in a box, and I'm good to go. You know, it, it is interesting living with ADD. I do forget a lot. Imagine, I'll put a picture in your head. Imagine having sex with ADD. It's crazy. I literally, it's like, you know, I'm in bed with a girl, or what I think to be a girl. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, fuck, titties. Oh, shit, she's pulling her panties out. Oh, my God. What does her sister look like naked? I would absolutely, like, I could never have a threesome, I would have a fucking panic attack. <laughs> I, I forget so much, I, I was having sex with this one girl, and I forgot to come, to, to uh, pull out, and I came in her, um, and I was just like, yeah, they will just buy you a nice planned breakfast in the morning. <laughs> Who knew CBS served breakfast? It's crazy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, it, living with ADD is tough. Uh, this one girl I was uh, sleeping with, she did something really nice for me the other day. She uh, crushed up an Adderall and let me do a line off her tits. Um, it was like the real thing, but it's prescribed. Um, uh, a lot of you guys can cut it up so you know. I see you, your nose dripping, you fucking degenerate. Uh, but, uh, so she let me do it, and it was more for her, I, I realized after, because I didn't come in 30 seconds, and I, uh, I got the job done. Um, how did, like, after that happened, I literally licked that thing like a 10-year-old, <laughs> Eating a fucking soft serve vanilla ice cream cone. Just. <laughs> Not a drop hit the fucking floor. I lit the mic. I think I, I, I think I taste Tony Clifton on the mic. You taste very well, sir. Oh, oh no, thank you. I don't want to Thank you so much. So I, uh, I grew up with an interesting childhood here. Um, my dad, growing up for uh, his career, he was a magician. Uh, he, I didn't even tell the joke yet, so I'll just go for the punchline. Uh, are you ready for uh, I'll tell it just to you because he came to my mother and then disappeared. From the hours of 12 and 3. Uh, she, uh, that's what inpatient allowed visiting hours. You know, the, the worst thing about a drug addiction is becoming religious after. Um, she was fucking Satan. And now it's like Mother Mary in my fucking room every day. Let's just pray. Frankie, I pray that you get a wife. Oh, you guys are awesome. I, uh, I really appreciate everyone coming out tonight. I, I'm not done, stop clapping. Um, I, uh, I will, I will, uh, everyone's doing impressions tonight, so I feel like I have to uh, get up. 
<laughs> I have to get on that train. Just imagine, girls, hear me out. Who's your Who's your celebrity crush? Let me hear some. Do not do Michael Bublé. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. If you had a chance to fuck any celebrity, who would it be? Yes, Male. Boy uh, George. All right. An old guy. Yeah. Okay. Well, imagine Chris were walking and having sex. <laughs> I just, I, it really bogs my mind just thinking of just being a wall, a fly on the wall with Christopher Walken, just like. Yeah, no legs, you can't dance. My pussy is so tight. It's nice and shaved. You got the landing strip. No. I didn't know you were prepared for what I was about to do to you. You want the two finger. Two in the pink and one in the stink. And I, I just pictured the other girl like, oh, Chris, what do you want? They're like, more cowbell. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. My name is Frank Jones. Thank you so much. Sean, thank you.